If you've been around Green Healthy Cooking for a little while, you know that I think sweet potato is life. I'm gonna show you how to bake sweet potatoes today, all the different ways that they are as a whole, as rounds, as cubes, as wedges, and what you have to pay attention to so they come out perfectly every single time. So let's get right into it. We're going to have to start by talking about sizes and shapes first to determine which sweet potatoes are best for what. You know, there are long and thick ones and others that are rounder and have a pretty thick circumference and then skinny ones or overall small ones. I swear I'm talking about nothing but sweet potatoes. The first thing you should always do before baking your sweet potatoes is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then wash your sweet potatoes under cold running water and scrub them well with a brush or sponge. If you want to bake your sweet potato as a whole, choose a small to medium sized one with a circumference of 9 or less inches so they won't take an eternity to bake. Poke your sweet potato with a fork all over so the steam that builds inside doesn't make it burst. Place it on a baking sheet and that's it. It's ready to go into the oven for 45 to 50 minutes for a 9 inch circumference sweet potato. The advantage of baking it as a whole is that you don't need to use any oil whatsoever. If you're pressed for time, try instead cutting your sweet potato into smaller pieces. For example, the long skinny ones are perfect for cutting into rounds. You can either peel the sweet potato or not. Either way works the exact same way. And I will show you here by peeling just half of one. Cut it into about one inch thick rounds and then add them to a bowl instead of the baking sheet directly because I'm going to show you a little trick now. Sweet potato is notorious for sticking to the baking sheet, no matter how much oil you use. So in order to keep the amount of oil down and keeping the sweet potato from sticking, Put your baking sheet dry and empty into your preheating oven and preheat it. A hot baking sheet is automatically non-stick. In the meantime, add just a small drizzle of avocado oil to your sweet potato rounds and then work in the oil with your hands to ensure they are evenly covered. Now let's set these aside while we wait for the oven and baking sheet to preheat and let's prep another sweet potato other ways. For sweet potato wedges and cubes, the big, thick and round sweet potatoes are best. I like peeling my sweet potato for wedges and cubes because the color is pretty, but you can leave the skin on if you prefer. It's perfectly edible. Now to cut wedges, all you do is cut about a one and a half inch piece off the sweet potato lengthwise and then cut it into wedges like this. And to cut it into cubes, you just slice a three quarter inch piece off then cut it into stripes and then cube it. Same as with the rounds, add the wedges or cubes into a bowl and drizzle with a little avocado oil, season with a bit of sea salt if you desire, and then work in the oil and salt with your hands. The reason you need oil once you cut the sweet potato open is because else it dries out in the oven. The skin doesn't cover and protect the flesh from drying out anymore and I don't recommend baking cut up sweet potato without oil. When your oven announces it's preheated, your baking sheet will be too. Take it out of the oven and place it on a heat proof surface so you can arrange your cut up sweet potato on it. Be careful, it's hot. You'll hear it sizzling right away. Arrange the sweet potatoes in a way that lets air circulate between pieces so steam doesn't get trapped. Don't overcrowd your baking sheet or your sweet potato won't roast. Now put the sheet back into the oven and roast the sweet potato for 20 minutes on one side, then take the baking sheet out again and flip the pieces. Then return the sheet into the oven for another 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how brown you like it. This is how your sweet potato will look after a total of 30 minutes baking, cooked through but still firm and not burnt. If you like it softer, leave it in for the 20 minutes that I said. If you like it a bit burnt, then I recommend 20 minutes, 20 minutes plus three to five minutes under the broiler at the end. This is what they look like once they were under the broiler. And this is how you remove the skin after baking instead of before baking. See how easy it is? But again, the skin is perfectly edible if you want to eat it. It adds extra fiber into your diet and is super healthy. The whole sweet potato looks like this when it's done. 
I love cutting it open like a regular baked potato and serve it simply with a bit of salted butter. The best winter breakfast ever, if you ask me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm dying to see your baked sweet potato creations. Please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye!